<laughs> All right, good morning. So it is about 7 a.m. And look who we've got over there with that white back flashing light. It's Jerome Cousin. We're going from Chepstow this morning. That's where we are right now. Um, and we're gonna do a 100 mile gravel ride across uh, South Wales. Like three miles down the road? Not very far. We've got puncture. Hopefully, the one and only puncture, but you know how these things go. How you found it so far, Jerome? You happy? Yes, really happy. Enjoy the ride. Sweet. I think we're going into a bit of a rainstorm type thing. But it's fine, it's wet anyway, so fuck it. So yeah, we've uh, we've lost the route a little bit. Oh, as I drop my bike, clearly can't do filming and walking at the same time. We've lost the route a little bit, so we're just slowly finding our way back. We've got this path down below us, and we think that's where we need to be. So we're going cross country. What are you doing? So we've got about 10k to go before we start doing our next hard part of this ride. And right over there where you can see it's really dark and stuff, there is a mountain, or roughly a mountain. And we're gonna be going up that, it's called the Iron Mountain Climb. We've done about uh, three mile, three hours so far. Yep. Um, so we're about a quarter of the way-ish through the route. Progress has been okay so far, but we hit like a really sludgy bit, which took us ages to get through. But I think, what have we got? Six hours of day left, daylight left, I think. <laughs> <laughs> which is pretty mad. So like, yeah, uh, it's gonna be dark by the time we're home. <laughs> yes. Should we get going then? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> let's go. It's, uh, it's forecast to be like, Nine degrees centigrade. Um, but our garments are reading three degrees centigrade today. Uh, how does this compare to the breakaway you did at the tour? Oh, it's completely different. <laughs> <laughs> it's rainy. Yeah. On the breakaway, it's rainy too, but uh, it's. Um, I don't have uh, my normal clothes, and it's difficult to to ride normally. It's so a little I colder. A good and it's off road. And mud. it's off road no, mud. Slower. Slower. Not as pretty. But it's uh, no light. Like, uh, actually, actually, it's chilly. Like. It's a uh, yeah. little bit cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's nice, the landscape is beautiful and um, I enjoy the ride Good with man. a friendly guy, it's a uh, nice day. Ah, papi. Oui, papi? Just so slippy underfoot. It's been raining in the UK for the past two weeks. Week and a half, pretty much solidly. So the ground is just completely waterlogged and uh, that means pushing. So we've got quite a lot of elevation to do to be honest. So hopefully at least some of it is rideable. So I've always, I think we're battling the light a little bit now. We've got about four hours of light left, I think. That should be, I mean, it should be doable to get over this mountain, but then we'll be, only, well, we still have 40 miles to go once we're on the other side of the mountain. So yeah, a lot of the ride would be in the dark if that was the case. Just keep pushing until we can find some grip. Even 
probably push sometimes. You will probably push. Well, <laughs> No, my stupid toe cover thing has come off. It keeps coming off and I look like such a gumby. Let's try it on! <laughs> just that it's not. The drone just is such a power. He's just so positive, like things full of energy, but he just keeps going and going. It's great, great for morale. And uh fun to try follow. Oh boy. Oh. Jerome started proper leaving us behind now. <laughs> the difference between a mortal and a pro. More to the point, a world tour pro is starting to become very real. He's not riding off without us, of course, but um, he's not tired, and we're probably on our reserves. So, it just goes to show you just how crazy fit those boys are, eh? Just made it down off the uh, off the mountain. Came it came down from up there. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, it was uh, pretty intense. There was a lot of hiker bike. I mean, in fact, pretty much all of it was hiker bike. Um, but we did what I wanted to do, which was make it over the mountain before it got dark. We have got 37 miles to do, so it will they'll all be at night. But um, it's not too bad. But yeah, we're gonna grab some food now have a little stop for a mo and then uh, crack on before it gets too dark. Let's do it. Weird, weird array of emotions. 